Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have a quick little Dior shopping vlog. I went into Dior today, well just the mall in general, to find my mom a new wallet. I kind of had a general idea of which one I wanted to get, but I couldn't decide on which color combination. I also couldn't decide if I wanted to get her the whole like accordion card holder thing because I know she actually really likes that. If I wanted to get her something small, something big, but they had so many different kinds like the patent, they even had that like metallic leather. And then this is actually what I want to buy for myself, not in this color combination. I just saw this and I definitely wanted to try it on. So if you guys haven't seen from one of Dior's previous fashion shows, a lot, and I mean a lot of influencers and just like celebrities had the new Dior kind of multicolor hardware. They have it in the saddlebag, but the Lady Dior in this green with the multicolor hardware was probably the one that I saw the most. I'm going to insert a picture somewhere over here so you guys can get a visual representation of it. But I saw it in this iPhone holder, which which I do want to buy again like I said but I'm waiting on for the right color combination to get I really really like this green and the multicolor but I just I've bought way too many green bags but look how freaking cute it is it's actually pretty big I think it's supposed to fit in a max and I just have the regular iPhone so this would give me even more space but it's just so cute you can top handle it it has a chain I'm obsessed I'm going to buy this I'm just waiting <laughs> Then this, oh my goodness, this mini Lady Dior bag in this like beige patent color is so freaking dreamy. If I had money to burn, I would totally buy this because I do want another mini Lady Dior but in a more like neutral everyday color. And I actually would love a patent bag or just a patent piece. And it's just, oh, it's so cute. And obviously the ultra matte black is also to die for. And then here we have the small Carl bags. This one on the left with the white is actually in the macro canage. What I noticed is that the macro at least it felt a lot more matte as opposed to the regular Carl bags. I actually really really want to add a small one. You guys know that yellow one is the one that got away. And on their sidewall that they're always changing, they had a bunch of those new Dior pouches. But this, they had these tiny little bowling bags and like these vibrant little colors. The blue one really really caught my eye. I just thought this was the cutest little shape. I wouldn't buy it just because I just feel like the color combination is a little too sporty for me. But if they change this up and maybe add like a Dior oblique design or even like a Toile de Joux design, I think I would totally go for it depending on the price. I honestly don't know how much these bags are, but they're so tiny and so freaking cute and so freaking summer-esque, especially that fluorescent pink one, which I'm just, oh, it's so small and tiny. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. Really, really obsessed. And then these pouches are by far probably one of my favorite Dior SLGs, but we will come back to this. Guys, as I was looking at this case, I was looking at a bunch of really cute SLGs, then this caught my eye. Do you guys see that? The color of the hardware? Let me show you. It is rose gold, a rose gold Caro bag. I am absolutely obsessed. It definitely gave me the Chanel, like that seasonal rose gold classic flat bag. I want this bag so much. It is a pink denim with rose gold hardware and I'm just in awe. I just could not stop looking at this bag. I think it's so freaking pretty, especially against the pink denim. I actually feel like the pink denim brings out the rose gold even more. It's just, it's to die for. The only reservation that I would have about getting this bag other than the beautiful aesthetics is that because it's denim aka it's fabric that means it would get dirty so quickly and it's not even getting dirty that bothers me it's the cleaning up factor that really would worry me i would have to be so paranoid if i went out to eat dinner place it down on a table a chair because if this bag got stained how in the world would i clean it and now it's finally to get down to business to finally decide which SLG that I was going to get for my mom. This green one, I asked my SA to take it out because I really wanted to see it for myself. I was pretty set on getting my mom a patent piece just because I wanted something that is pretty durable and I know she's not going to keep it out in the sun or anything like that. You just can, it's so easy to clean, very low maintenance and yeah, I just really love like how modern the patent looks and at the same time very like vintagey too. This scarf I actually asked him to put it on hold for me just because I wanted to see how it looked with my taupe saddlebag because I really really wanted a twilly for my saddlebag 
and I thought this one was so stunning, so beautiful. I just have an affinity for florals and that just taupe on the side. This was the other one that I was debating between. I saw this Mitsu scarf online and I just fell in love with it because of the animals. So basically, do I want to be like light and girly or kind of florally and edgy? And then the yellow, because me and my essay love pastel yellow. That's literally why we're in love with each other, is because our affinity for yellow is so strong and deep. I really, really contemplated on the yellow one but i just know especially with me having this i would put this on my keys and it would get dirty so quickly especially because of the leather and it, if it was a yellow patent i feel like i'd be more drawn to actually buying it but yeah it would get way too dirty another idea i had was getting me and my mom matching key pouches so her the black one and then me the green one but these little buggers are pretty expensive so i'm still trying to decide which ones and then this is the new quote-unquote small size for the book totes i actually really really enjoy this size i think this is way more everyday friendly like actually everyday friendly you can take this just to run errands or whatever i love that the font is actually super tiny for the christian dior so that means on the back if you get your name on it the font would be really tiny me too i just i love it okay guys i've actually never been a fan at all of the east west whole D lady dior bags bobby bags but this bag in this box calfskin has officially converted me i think this looks so freaking cute on i love that you can adjust the shoulder strap to make it shorter or longer i think this is been officially added to my wish list i'm obsessed absolutely obsessed they had these like phone holders but they're book tote versions the strap is really what caught my eye because it just is basically like a really long dior friendship bracelet i tried this bag on and i thought it was so freaking cute online they do have this in the dior oblique as well and i think in the toit de jeu i actually really really like this i think it's a bit expensive but yo it comes with a strap look how freaking cute it looks and the strap is adjustable if you guys didn't know super roomy super comfortable i love that the strap you can take it off you can put it on that means you can substitute it with another strap i just actually really really like it i didn't adjust the strap to crossbody it but you totally can do that if you want to and then here we have a muted kind of like aqua color in the grain calfskin with the really pretty multicolored hardware again i just feel like against these kind of like muted bright tones it just really makes it neutral but also pop at the same time love love alrighty so we really have to decide what slg i was going to get for my mom this one really caught my eye but for myself because i want to get the burgundy one to match my book tote but that is the last thing that i need right now i know that these like saddle card holders were really popular or still are i know a lot of people have them they are really cute i had a wallet similar to this in the dior oblique but i ended up selling it just because it was way too bulky for my liking but yeah dior slg's hit after almost two hours of being in there i finally decided what to get for my mom so while my essay was wrapping it up for me i was looking at this really cute display box of their fine jewelry i really want to add something i'm thinking of getting something for myself for my birthday but i can't decide between getting a wee bracelet or like a rose de vent bracelet mm. okay guys so we are finally back at home it is 11.06 and I had to wait to bring the Dior bag. Uh, I left it in the trunk in my garage because my mom was there. It's a surprise that I got her. So I did end up getting her a gift. So this is hers. Look how cute. They still have the little stars. Maybe I just haven't shopped at Dior recently, but yeah, so it's like all wrapped in stuff. So I'm going to hide this in my closet until her birthday. But I actually did end up picking up something really, really small. So I thought I would just do a little unboxing. Um, it's not an SLG. I wish it was an SLG to be honest. Um, but yes, so let me just show you what i got also my bag of the day was my palm springs mini i honestly actually haven't used this bag in maybe like two months to be quite honest with you but um i was watching videos just like obviously luxury videos and there was this one girl that i was watching and she had a twilly or a bag charm on the um, what is it what is it the bought chapeau souple um she had like two bag charms on it and i was like "Ooh, i want to accessorize accessorize my bags and then i actually hadn't used this in a hot minute one of my subbies 
actually gave me the idea to put a Twilly on my Palm Springs Mini. Her and her friend like put the Twilly on their Palm Springs Mini. So I totally, this isn't even an original idea. I don't know if a lot of other people do this because I do know Marquita from LV Luxury on YouTube. She also does this as well. I think she does it on both of her Palm Springs Mini, the reverse and the regular. But anyways, I just thought it was super cute. So this is what I got on Valentine's Day. I think like two years ago it was definitely during the pandemic for sure but i just love that it has the pastels but the reason why i really like it is because there's actually some black accents in it so it actually goes with the black leather on this anyway <laughs> back to what i got the reason why i was showing you guys that was because it was a little bit relevant so hold on to take off the ribbon but I had a really fun day with my essay today. I told myself I was only going to be there for like 30 minutes and I ended up being there for like an hour and 30 minutes because we were just talking and luckily it was really slow because I kept going like, oh, you know, like if you have any clients or if you have any appointments, like I can totally just leave because uh, I knew I was going in there for my mom. But then I ended up just like trying some bags on as you guys saw earlier. But yes, okay, so this is what I got. Oops. <laughs> So I got a Twilly, as you guys can see in their cute little Twilly box. Um, when you buy a Twilly, it normally comes with like the really thin ribbon. So not even this, like the thinner ribbon, if you're just into packaging and stuff like that. Um, but they actually ran out of the thin ribbon and he asked if I wanted the big one. And I was like, no, it's okay. Like I'm literally going to take it out as soon as I go home. So it doesn't even matter. But this is the Twilly that I got. Um, if you guys didn't know, my birthday is in August and I am a Leo. Um, and this Twilly actually has two things that are like really important to me. So this is what it looks like. So on this side, there's a lion eating a snake and there's like floral on it. But the main reason I actually got this, do you see? Hold on, how am I going to show this? Do you see right here where the moon crescent is? It's like a taupe color. So this has black and taupe and like navy blue and stuff. So that this side, I believe this is black. Yeah, I'm like 100% sure this is black, which I love. But this side is actually like navy blue and black. But there's also a tiger on this side and my mom was born in the year of the tiger so i don't know it just represented i don't know like i just really really liked it i know this might not be like everybody's cup of tea but let me just show you a close-up but i just thought it was so special it's like very it's not even edgy i just i don't know it's just like very artistic and special i love that the tiger is blue and then the line is red so they're just like very like opposites and me and my mom are opposites like i'm a leo and she's a cancer literally the complete opposite because leo's ruled by the sun i'm not trying to get zodiac on you but just to kind of compare and cancer if you guys didn't know is ruled by the moon like we're literally complete opposites but um yeah i don't know i used to have like a really really bad relationship with my mom when i was growing up and now we're actually like really really good friends so that's really cool but yeah so this is what it looks like i love it i have no regrets but anyways the reason why i wanted to buy this i was just on the website because i'm always just looking for like a new twilly to be honest <laughs> and i wanted to actually there was this one i don't remember her name if i could remember the video or find the video that i uh watched i'm gonna insert it here but if i can't find it i'm so sorry i'm just gonna find maybe like an instagram picture or something but basically this girl that i follow she has or this woman that i follow she has um a, two mini saddlebags one in orange and one in a uh, green and they're like very vibrant like shades and she had both of them are mini and she has twillies on both of her saddlebags and i thought it was the cutest thing so then i texted my essay and i was like hey do you think I should get a Twilly for my saddlebag even though it's not mini, like it's just the regular size? So if you guys don't know, I do have the Dior saddlebag. I did get this for my birthday last year. Was this last year? I don't even remember. I'm pretty sure this was last year. I'm gonna say this was last year, I don't remember. But uh, because this is taupe, I ironically have trouble styling this. Um, just because I'm not a fashionable person, I feel like if you are more fashionable than I am, then you probably would be able to sell this more. But anyways, like taupe, I've just realized I'm like a, I'm a warm toned girl. Even though this is like a warm taupe, it's still like taupe at the end of the day, you know what I mean? But anyways, so the reason why I got this is because I actually thought it would have matched really well, but also at the same time, like have a pop of color. Because if you guys can see like these little areas, there, it's a true taupe. It's literally like the same exact shade as this. Let me actually show the flower instead. Let's find it. So do you see right here like this 
right here this is like a taupe so the accent piece on that i don't know i just feel like this actually looks really cute together i'm gonna tie it on the handle and see how i feel about it if not i'm still honestly really happy that i got this tulle i just think it's so pretty and the fact that it's black on the back means it will match with a bunch of other things also guys what i realized while editing this video is that i didn't actually show you what it looks like on so this is me tying the twilly up it is a little bit loose right here as you guys can see so i do need to adjust it i kept this bit pretty long so i stopped it right above the c just so you can see the full animals on both sides love that this is what this looks like i like it more towards the front like this so if i'm holding it you can still kind of see the hardware probably fix it and take it off and adjust it but i actually think it looks really cute with the twilly i just feel like the lighting is not very good right now i think it looks adorable my favorite bit like i said is that there's little accents of taupe on this twilly that really uh accent the taupe of the bag but yes um because because technically i can actually put this even though it's obviously a different branded bag but because this has black accent pieces i can actually put this toolie on and it would actually look so cute too because i know eventually this part is going to get super dirty because i was using it today and this is like a light pastel blue so when i take this to the dry cleaners eventually um i could like swap it out for a dark one so that's awesome so that is what i bought today um yeah really simple i was i really really want just a little recap um i really really want to get the uh dior let's just call it the dior key pouch i don't know the exact name i'll put it right here i honestly think it's like really really expensive for what it is because i know that the lv key pouch is around like 350 maybe it's raised up honestly i haven't been on louis vuitton that recently since like their double price increases i just kind of like oh my goodness and i know that the dior one is leather so that's why it's more expensive but I don't know like i think it's around like 570 maybe 580 for the key pouch again i understand it's leather and it actually is um significantly bigger than the lv key pouch uh and i really i really like it i love the shade of green so if they still have that which i feel like they might i might end up getting it as like a birthday present to myself i'm basically trying to decide between getting like a little dior birthday present for myself either the wee bracelet and like the red string um can decide rose gold or gold the dior key pouch or the dior cell phone like phone holder because that one's like 1100 and it's actually a lot bigger than the online picture shows like it's a lot wider or maybe it's just because i have a small iphone i don't have the max and like that phone holder fits the max so maybe that's why but yeah Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys for this quick little shopping with me vlog. I literally went to Dior to buy my mom a gift and then I left. I didn't really explore. If I didn't find the wallet that I wanted to get my mom at Dior, then I honestly would have gone to Celine. But yeah, and then I just went to go get dinner and then that was it. So as always, if you guys enjoyed this quick little shopping vlog, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps support my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.